after I've just been teaching every day for five days. Amazing and I'm also a little bit brain numb. I don't know a lot of teaching, particularly this. It's like we dive into this other world and have all these deep amazing experiences and then it's like, oh, life, day. Going to ballet class. <laughs> Just wanted to say good morning. I'm off to class. Jess and Rachel are coming over and Mimi. And I'm hoping to have a really chill day. So, how are you doing today? We just had a lovely ballet class. My mom came to ballet today, so hi mom. It was really amazing having you here. I love her. She's lovable. She loves hey. you. <laughs> How cool all the moms have been to ballet. Jess, did you tell the vlog that your mom came to ballet on Friday? I don't think so. My mom came to ballet on Friday. She's amazing. It was so she cool. did so good. She was and she, amazing. she looked at me and she said, well, she testimonialed it about it. Really? Yeah, but she said she hadn't been to a ballet class since she was like five years old. Ever thought she would ever. And at the end of bar, she looked at me and goes, that was really fun. That was like, yeah. And then she just kept going. And then in the car ride on the way, she said, if Babs can do it, I can do it. Aww. It's just our, like a lot of it's just our minds. Like, who cares if you're flopping around a little bit? Like, enjoy the experience and have fun. And then that's all right. that matters. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, it was just super cool to have my mom in ballet with me. She's also never met Laura or Jess before, and it was just amazing to have all my people that I love in a room dancing together because previously I've definitely had the feeling of like separation, like this is my family, this is my friends, this is my work people, but like life isn't about separation in the separate boxes, it's really about the unity and the connection and the love and that's totally what I experienced today and was very happy to see that I sort of manifested all the people I love you know dancing together so it was really special mom you did a great job and I just am feeling a lot of love and unity and connection and happy dance Shift post moment. Well, I think you know actually, this is what happens. Jess curls up in the blanket, Rachel passes out on the floor. It's been great. It's like, Mimi's still, still kicking. We just had a lovely holy shift session. It was all about feeling the connectedness and the connectedness of like our lives, like a garden, cross pollination of that, and the ability to eat all the goodness, <laughs> like the ripe vegetables and fruits and like the whole food and be able to discern when something needs to go into the compost but that being different to it being put into the trash, i.e. when there's something in your life you don't want to deal with or things you don't like or like kind of the walls of the, the stuff that's like bad rather than putting it into the trash that ultimately it just festers it looks like it becoming being able to be embraced but become compost so it can actually nourish your life rather than just create a big like cesspit cess the other thing that's really cool oh yeah it came up to do with um there was a what was it permission of the hate in the haters or the something like it was like yeah, to do with the pattern of like hating the hate and it's interesting because on YouTube there's a lot of talk of the haters and the like positivity and then the haters and um, you know everyone and their opinions and then we get people hating the haters and it's like how do you deal with the hate and and then the experience that happened in Orlando this yesterday was that yesterday a bit lost track of time but just happened with the shooting there which is you know such a a harsh experience for everyone to have and yet underneath it all it's like how do we find that place where we can feel the connection rather than the walls of separation and kind of the hating of the hate and the differences 
to actually find that place where we can really feel our unity and our unity as humans and our unity on this planet and I just really feel that a lot so oh, if you have any experiences of that or any insights connected to that please please share them also particularly if you were on holy shift and you were in that session please share your experiences down below also want to know more about your talents and your skills and your loves and your passions so that we can nurture our community even more so that we can actually find the places where we want to come together and create more together so leave that all in the comments as well other comments you guys want to make no well i'll just say yes this holy shift shift session inspired me to start composting really mm -hmm. oh my gosh that's really cool <laughs> guys look at jess's outfit oh my gosh you can't see it okay let's go <laughs> So my outfit is looking really, really, really interesting. Oh, you're my goodness. <laughs> it's hysterical, particularly with your pockets hanging out. Totally. Oh <laughs> my goodness. It got colder than I expected. Hello, you're really cute. Oh my gosh, you're really cute. Look, it's kind of nice and light still. I'm going to the co-op, the co-op, the co-op. My eyes oh gosh, we've got three minutes. Jess's eye is so much better since Holy Shift. It, it so came up in the session. Holy Shift. Where are you? It's amazing. It's so much better. All right. I just got over the co op met this guy called Ken, he's really cool, who makes movies about really cool healing things. Oh, I unpacked the groceries and then I finished the vlog. I'm really sorry the vlogs have gone behind these past few days. I've just been super, super busy. I'll get back on it tomorrow, I promise. I'm whispering because there is in bed and I'm going to bed too. So, night, night and love and thank you. You know, I hope you had fun today. And leave me comments and make sure you like it. And please share it and sweet dreams. Night night.